It doesn't matter what the question or problem is, what the answer is, is leadership. What I thought that meant is work 80 hours a week, bust your tail, do more than the average person, own it, kill yourself. You can have amazing individual skill and that means nothing when you transfer into leadership. How do we focus on transferring from A to B within that leadership component? We have the philosophy that it is fly or die, sink or swim. Why would we put people in place insufficiently ill-equipped? We make money on engaged and inspired employees. We lose money on dissatisfied employees and even satisfied employees barely break even. Do you have an uh, on-purpose six-week to eight-week program to get them ready to do the job that you hired them to do, or you just say, here's your truck, here's your keys, we're underwater, everything's on fire, go. We're setting them up for failure, we're not setting them up for success. Because everything rises and falls on leadership, but guess what the good news and the bad news is, who's the first leader? We are. We're gonna be focusing on the inspiration of the group. I wanna fill their tank back up. And then I want to give them just three, four, five takeaways that are just really ready and hit home and they can start to work that process. I've been that leader that struggled and I've been that leader that, that was ill prepared. I was running an office at one time in Addison, Texas, had a wonderful lady and she walked in one day and said, I quit. You either think I'm an idiot and you've got to micromanage me and you only give me the crappy projects and you never check back up on them, so you must be, therefore I quit. And essentially it came down to this. Any project that I didn't have it figured out, I was too deep in the weeds. You have it, I have it, you have it. Now how are we going to, and I didn't trust her to be smart enough to figure it out. That push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, man, that's a miserable job. People don't want to work in that. Why am I leading that way? Because I wouldn't want to be led that way. Lead where you're strong, team where you're weak. Now I have put in safety mechanisms where when I'm overstepping my boundary, my team has permission to ask me, is that on my plate or your plate? I get to go, <laughs> shut up. It's on your plate, I'll back up. Chris does an incredible job with a relation to personal experiences and stories that are very impactful to the message he's delivering. And at some point, the rest of the management team said, Fuller, man, that's awesome, brilliant solution, you are killing us. Look, Fuller, you're in charge of creating the solution, not doing the solution, and we have so many other problems that you're working on. We need you in other places. You have two days to train six people how to do what you're doing, so you can focus on other areas of the business to work on. You were the solution, you became the problem when you overplayed your hand in being the solution. Solve the problem, train the people, delegate the issue, move on to the next thing your business needs. Chris delivered on all levels. He was awesome to work with. You could see the engagement. You could hear a pin drop as he was telling his closing story. Totally happy. So that was an awesome experience for us. Do your people trust you or do they trust you to make knee-jerk decisions and say one thing today and one thing tomorrow and we're moving back and forth? See, trust is the currency of leadership. If you don't have the trust of your organization, you are bankrupt. I've been at it for about 32 years and in that short little stand of time, there's things here he said that really, I really took the heart that I can use to take back to our team. Line out what a leader is and does because otherwise they're going to do what they want or do what they we've got to develop leaders even in spite of them. What do I need you to know? What do I need you to do? What do I need you to be? He drilled down on issues significantly and I would see him again and again do the same presentation. Pour into them and then hold them accountable. Show them what daily life needs to look like. Benchmark the best, replicate for results, find awesome and copy it. Again, if we're going to achieve what we need to achieve, it's going to be because we develop the leaders because you can't scale a broken model.